Aloha friends, Stephanie Weeks here with OurWellnessRevolution.com and today I'm going to take some time and talk about Lyme disease and I want to begin by saying that I am not a licensed medical professional and if you suspect that you have Lyme disease, please consult a trusted medical provider. Now what I want to share with you today is my personal story, uh, my experiences with the debilitating disease and what I've done to combat the symptoms of Lyme. So back in about 2007, I was like sort of kind of diagnosed with Lyme disease. Um, I wasn't feeling well at about of about three days where I was unable to get out of bed. I literally slept for three days straight and I knew that something was terribly wrong. So I went to go see the doctor and upon seeing the doctor, they were unable to conclusively give me any kind of assistance as to what might be going on. My answer was it could be this, it could be that, it could be the other, it might be Lyme disease. And um, I had the signs of Lyme disease with flu-like symptoms. I had the headaches, the muscle and joint pain, the extreme fatigue, but those can be signs and indicators of many different ailments. So without a conclusive answer, I didn't undergo treatment at that time. Why would I? I didn't know what it was exactly. You see, Lyme disease is very difficult to diagnose and it's even harder to eradicate from the body. I don't know when I would have been infected with Lyme. Um, I never saw the classic sign associated with Lyme, the bullseye rash that about one third of the population gets after a tick bite. My initial infection was so mild that I, like many others, didn't even know that I had been infected. And in recent years, I've learned that it's not just deer ticks that can transmit Lyme, but other types of ticks, mosquitoes, and possibly spiders, mites, and fleas can transmit Lyme. So originally the name Lyme disease was given because the initial cases of this illness were discovered and highly prevalent in Lyme, Connecticut. And Lyme disease is actually caused by a stealthy little microbe called Borrelia, and many co-infections can occur with this. And we should really start looking at calling it Borrelia instead of Lyme so we can release the stigmas around Lyme disease. Now the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, has stated that 300,000 Americans are diagnosed with Lyme disease each year. So, um, the symptoms of this disease compound over time, and if not healed, most people who suffer from Borrelia, like me, have all the classic symptoms of what so many know as Lyme, but are unsure of where they actually would have been infected, and they have test results that are suggestive at best. So for people with symptomatic but unproven Lyme disease, the options for conventional therapy are anything but straightforward. Um, a stealthy little microbe, this sucker Borrelia, it blends into the human microbiome. It doesn't want to kill the host, it just wants to kind of scavenge around, get enough to survive, and it penetrates deep into the tissues including joint, cartilage, brain, nervous tissue, and it's protected from the antibiotics and it gains protection from the immune system which makes it even harder for the body to eradicate. Um, and on top of that, it can lay dormant for years. So. Luckily for me, when all of these symptoms arose, this was the time in my life that I made uh, dramatic changes to my diet. Not because I was ill, but because of some uh, documentaries that I had watched on the food industry that completely changed my life forever. Uh, it turns out the universe had my back and knew the dietary changes that needed to take place for my health. And I converted to a vegetarian diet, which substantially helped my body live in an alkaline state. And this is important because of the acidic nature of Lyme disease on the body. So um, I focused solely on natural approaches to healing my body. Um, I did a round of a product called uh, the Antidote to kill the bad bacteria and viruses that may be lurking in my body. And the way this product works is, um, well, it's complicatedly simple. If you've ever wondered how sharks and crocodiles can live in bacteria-infested waters, they eat putrid meat, they survive life-threatening injuries, and yet they still uh, thrive, it's because they have unique antimicrobial proteins in their blood that go around gobbling up invaders, like our macrophage in our body. And in recent years, many studies have been conducted that you can Google and find more information on uh, this process. But the science is... Uh, around this is now isolating these compounds to help treat disease in the human body. And it's all very interesting and a treatment that I have found very useful. Uh, in addition, I uh, boosted my immune system with a multitude of different supplements. I was eating very clean. Uh, I was generally taking care of myself, and for a decade, I went along living almost completely symptom-free, which was great. Um, I did a couple of sessions on a SKU device, which works on Royal Raymond Rice technology, and if you've never looked into his research, you are doing yourself a huge disservice. Um, it is very important scientific work on annihilating disease in the human body, and you should really check it out. So this past year, I've been having uh, some subtle flare-ups, and I was dealing with a lot of stress in my life. I was traveling a lot. My diet got totally out of whack, and I was drinking when I knew I shouldn't. And um, I, was, I wasn't getting enough sleep. I ran out of my supplements. It was generally a really, really bad scenario where I was beating myself up. So. 
Some of you may remember the cleanse that I went on a couple of months ago, and this was my response to a debilitating flare-up uh, that I had. And what happened is I began feeling very faint, and there was arrhythmia that made me just want to lay in bed. Um, something that people without this issue just can't seem to understand. Uh, but this abnormal heart rhythm can be a side effect of a magnesium deficiency in the body because Borella exhausts the body's magnesium supply for its reproductive purposes. I ran out of my magnesium supplements um, for months while I was traveling, and like I told you, it was a bad scenario. But um, you can learn more about magnesium in the article attached below. Um, at one point, I had a constant nagging headache that lasted three weeks. It was horrific. Um, there have been weird tingling sensations, unexplained pain throughout my body. Um, there's been general aching, fatigue uh, that renders me sleepless at night. There's been irritability, unexplainable and overwhelming exhaustion at times. Um, so desperate to feel better, to release my headaches, the brain fog, and the general aching of my body that I was experiencing, I flew home to see my naturopath. And this time I was given a diagnosis of Lyme disease, and I was told that I had parasites. And this was not surprising to me at all. If you eat sushi, you probably have a colony of parasites in your body. And I eat street food in every country that I visit. So not really surprising, but mold and parasites are common environmental factors that can set off Lyme. And... Um, I went on a very aggressive cleanse and reevaluated what I was doing in my life. My goal was to reset my immune system so that my body was able to heal itself because none of the drugs out there go to treat the disease. They simply manage the symptoms and um, in many cases the adverse reactions are just as bad if not worse than the actual disease. So I knew that if I supported my body like I needed to, like I'd been doing previously, that my body would support and take care of me. So I know there are specific things that I can do to assure um, that I feel my best and that I have put my body in a healing state. And these are things like eat a nutrient-rich diet, skip processed packaged foods, and all fast foods. Avoid sugar and alcohol. Um, you want to promote a healthy gut with high quality probiotics and digestive enzymes, um, supplement with high quality food form vitamins and hemp oils, um, take glyconutrients daily. That is one thing I will never go without. Um, manage stress and uh, get plenty of sleep. These are all things that you can do that really help boost your immune system. So if you're spending a lot of time outside, you definitely want to take measures to prevent Lyme infection. So use a natural insect repellent, such as one made from essential oils when you're out uh, anywhere where there's high amounts of insects. You want to definitely wear long pants, long sleeves, long socks um, to keep ticks off your skin. And also try wearing lighter color clothing so that you can uh, spot ticks and insects more easily. Uh, check your skin often. Uh, when you're outdoors, look over your exposed skin, remove ticks promptly if there are any, and promote a strong immune system so your body's always working to uh, fight off the invaders. I realized early on that uh, to get any kind of handle on this disease that I was going to have to give my body what it needed to support me and boost my immune system, and that was on the top of my list, so I encourage you to do the same. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you know someone that could benefit from seeing this information, please share it with them. And if you are living with Lyme disease and have a tactic that has worked for you, please share it with us. And as always, if you have any questions, I am happy to help in any way possible. Until next time, friends, I love you. Have a great day. And remember to visit ourwellnessrevolution.com.